Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the big carrot that I used for this fun Easter sign or spring sign or bunny rabbit carrot sign. <laughs> it's a really cute carrot that I found that is actually a cake mold of a carrot. But of course, anything silicone can be used for a resin mold. So we're going to be using alcohol inks to make this little carrot for our cute little sign. If you want to watch the actual video with the instructions for the vinyl portion of the sign, I will link that down below. But for now, we're going to head out to the workshop to start pouring our resin. All right, three minutes of stirring A and B together and our resin is all set. I'm going to put it in my bubble removing machine to get rid of all these little surface bubbles and then we will be able to pour it. In the meantime, we have our big carrot. And I am going to be using alcohol inks for this project. So carrots are orange, Bellini orange, and green. And I think we might try a mix of the greens. I wish I had a different orange, but I don't, so we could have a mix of the oranges. We might do a drop. We're going to see how this mixes together. So. The orange, we are going to put drops of all throughout the carrot. And then the greens, we are going to put mixes, drops of, not mixes, throughout the leaf. Then when we pour our clear resin in, they will all mix together and we will see the result. Sometimes it's really pretty on its own and sometimes you'll wanna add more drops once the resin is in. We will have to play it by ear. So right now I'm just gonna add drops. Orange. All throughout my carrot, making sure to get on those lines because I think that'll mix and play nicely. Haha, let's try that much. You always wanna shake these before you use them, make sure they're all stirred up. Do fewer of the green because, of course, there's fewer green area. All right, let's see if our resin is bubble free. All right, pretty close. There's still a lot of bubbles down in there, but they should bubble out as we pour. So we're going to start on the orange side. And as always, we're going to pour in a thin stream from high up. It helps the bubbles dissipate. It's playing with that orange, but it's not spreading as much as I like. Let's do some green. Ooh, the, see the green is playing nice. All right, let's run from the orange so we can try to keep the green in its area. It's okay if it mixes a little, but you know. Now we really don't need a super thick carrot for our sign. So I'm not gonna pour Excessive amount. I'm going to use a lot of this for another project. Perfect. We're definitely going to need more orange ink. So let's drop some of these in. I might need to do some red, but I'm afraid the red won't look right. 
some reason. Most of the carrot is orange is sticking over here. Let's uh, swirl that in a bit. You know, resin doesn't always do what we want. We just got to make it work a little bit. All right, that's pretty good. Now, of course, if we wanted a solid orange, we could have mixed our color in directly to the, uh, the resin. But I want this effect. I'm going to add some drops of white. So alcohol ink oftentimes sits at the back of your resin. It's very light. White will push it to the front, down towards the bottom. I want less dots of white back here, more up front. And so we can layer the orange and the white to get a nice dropping effect when we un mold our carrot. Not quite the effect I was going for, but I did grab the white in case the orange wasn't pigmented enough. Let's go ahead and add some more of this lighter green back here, especially to this middle portion. I don't want to do too much because the green's actually playing pretty nice. Do another layer of the white. It's not a science, but I find at least two layers, if not three of the white. Looks nice. And there we go. Let's go ahead and leave that. Uh, And we will see how it plays together when we unmold it, okay? So tomorrow, get a look at this carrot. All right, this is all cured. You can see my fingerprints where I tested it. It's okay, that's the back. Now we're just gonna start peeling it away from the sides. You can see, since this was a cake mold, we could have made a much a deeper carrot, but since this is going on a sign, we don't need one. It would be very heavy. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. I was worried that it wouldn't be uh, orange enough. It was so transparent at first. Now, if we did a clear coat of resin over this, it's kind of matte. It would be shinier, and that might bring out more of these striations. I definitely like how you can see more of the differences in the green. I wish we'd had more oranges to play with, but you can see that the end here is definitely lighter than the darker part up here. And I think that is from all the white that we dropped. So I like it. We could add in different orange to the little uh, marks here, but honestly, I just, <laughs> I think it looks like a carrot just like this. Sometimes less is more. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right on our sign. Let me grab it. Let's see how it all looks together. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's really cute. All right. So... Whether you did the vinyl carrot or you went for this resin one, this sign is completely finished. I am just going to hot glue this guy on, nothing fancy. So he is absolutely complete. I think this turned out super cute. And honestly, while I love vinyl and I could have easily cut out a vinyl carrot when I cut out the uh, rest of the sign, I just think there's something about a 3D, you know, resin element. It just makes the whole thing pop and I love it. So 
I hope you liked this project. If you want to go check out the actual sign, I will link that down below. If you are using your carrot for something else, leave a comment down below. But uh, I think this turned out super cute. Bye, y'all.